Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. My favorite makeup today is this little guy. This is from Fenty Beauty. This is the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. It's these beautiful shimmery shades here. One side is more of a natural glow and the other side is super intense. And they just look stunning on the skin. They're really beautiful. I'm just super sad that I dropped this today. And now the little tab that closes the compact is rattling around inside. I don't know that there's anything I can do for that. I might just have to start either stacking other stuff on top of this to hold it closed or I'm gonna have to tape it when I take it places. So that makes me sad, but I do really love the highlighter. So that's just encouragement to use it more often. And now onto the video. So for today, I was going through all of my makeup to see if I could do a full face of makeup with only one brand. So that's what we're gonna try out today. And we're gonna be using the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna line. So I do have the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. Um, I'm in the shade 190, so we are going to be using that today. I also have several of the matchsticks, including Yacht Life, which I can use as a blush, as well as Confetti, Starstruck, Blonde, and Unicorn, so all the really lovely shimmery shades. I've got two of these Freestyle Highlighter Duos. I also have Mean Money and Hustler Baby, as well as the Fenty Beauty Galaxy Palette, which I picked up when that went on sale. It's quite lovely. I'm, I'm pleased that I got it for the sale price. I think I would have been disappointed if I'd paid full price, though. I also have four of the lipsticks, including one of the holiday ones. I got the holiday color and sci fly. It's really pretty. As well as I do have a stun of lip paint also. And last but not least, I have two of these um, Eclipse two in one glitter release eyeliners. So I have Nepturnt and Alien Bay. So now that I have all the products in front of me, I'm sort of faced with the fact that I spent a whole bunch of money on the Fenty Beauty line. And that's because from the very beginning, I was really drawn to the brand. I didn't expect to either, but when I saw the highlighter products, I do love a good highlighter and that's how you're going to get me. So when I saw all of her highlighter products, I was instantly like, oh, I need to go try it. Like all of those. And I just went and swatched everything in the stores and I sort of thought about it. And I, I bought them like in stages. I only bought a couple at a time, but you know, I, I've had like three or four months to pick them up. So that's what I've been doing. And I'm really pleased with the quality on all of the highlighter products. I also quite like the foundation, though it's a little testy. I have to do it just the way that it likes, but I, now that I figured that out, it's a very nice foundation. I, my skin looks very airbrushed. It's very full coverage for me. I also like the Galaxy palette, especially since I picked it up on sale, and the new Mademoiselles are really fantastic. They're great lipsticks. Uh, the other stuff that I'm not specifically talking about, it's not that it's a bad product, it's just not something I use very often. I don't necessarily use the Stun of Lip Paint every day because, you know, it's a bright red and, you know, there's special occasions for a bright red. And I don't always use these two-in-one glitter release eyeliners either because I'm not very good at putting on liquid eyeliner, which should have told me I shouldn't have picked these up, but I'm not sorry. They're really beautiful and I will try to use them this year. Then. For better or for worse, there's not a ton of product in these, so I have a good shot of being able to use them if I just try to use them consistently. I really want to go along with the spirit of this exercise, so if there's a product that the line doesn't offer, like I did put moisturizer on and Fenty Beauty doesn't have moisturizer, so I feel okay with that decision. Uh, I haven't yet decided yet, I may end up pulling in this NYX Glitter Primer, simply because the Fenty line does not offer a primer. Uh, they do offer a facial primer, but they don't have an eye primer, and that's always sort of different than a regular primer anyway, so that might be my one concession, uh, depending on how I decide to do this face. So I have tried the Fenty Beauty Primer, I'm just not particularly fond of it. I thought it worked fine, but it didn't actually work very well with this foundation. It worked better with um, other foundations that I had as opposed to this one. Uh, for me, this if I just use a lot of moisturizer ahead of time, that works just as well. The other thing with this foundation is that you don't want to apply too much of it or you're definitely going to look a little bit, uh, going to look a little cakey. So this is about one and a half pumps and I also like to apply this with my fingers. Because I find that this dries pretty quickly, you sort of have to be fast about it. It's like you're painting a house with cement and the cement is quick drying right in front of you and your brush is going to get stuck in it. Adding powder on top of it, it's really not necessary. I do blot uh, a couple hours in, but I don't need to set this. It will set on its own very quickly. So I do not own any of the matchsticks for highlighting and contouring, and that's just because I wasn't quite sure what my shade was. And I don't really like to use cream products to contour anyway, so I didn't think I would get enough use out of it, so those I did not pick up. So I'm gonna take this Yacht Life. This is a beautiful, like, pinky gold. It's, it's really quite beautiful. 
Um, you can apply this directly on the face. I sort of find, especially in the cold weather, that if I sort of warm it up on the back of my hand first, and then I can pat it on. This is the lovely flush I'm getting with Yacht Life. Like, I think it's a really nice blush. You can also use this on your lips, which I have done. If you're using a very liquidy lipstick and you just sort of want to set it in a little bit more that could be nice for a nice shimmer effect on top and for my powder highlight today we're going to go with uh, lightning dust and fire crystal i think i'm going to use a little of both as is generally how i like to wear this one and really these are just these are just stunning highlighters i really enjoy them so now we're going to move on to eyes i'm going to try not to use the nyx primer and I'm going to try using one of these cream colors to sort of give myself a base along the eye because that might give the glitter something to stick to because generally with a cream product that will help. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of layering. First I'm going to take Starstruck. This is Starstruck. There's Yacht Life over here. I'm going to take that all across the lid. Here I just put a little bit of Unicorn. So that's a bit of a purple. I'm going to add that onto the lid as well. All right, we're going to take some of this Fenty Glitter and see how well that sticks. If not, we might have to abandon ship and try again with something else. So right now I'm looking at Cosmic Ocean, which is this teal midnight bolt, and this is Space Out. This is sort of like a bluey purple. It's got like a green glitter to it, actually. That's quite lovely. I think I did try that once, but I was mostly doing a green look with this palette. But let's see. I'm going to take a little bit of Midnight Bolt. That's the dark one here. See if I can apply that. And I'm going to try to take this, um, the outer third of my lid. Actually, this is sticking very nicely and I'm not getting fallout on my cheek. So the Fenty glitters in the palette are definitely not all created equal. Some of them are a lot more opaque than others, so they are buildable. But this one is actually applying really nicely, like right off the bat. I'm not having to dip back into the palette. It's just... It's just looking very beautiful. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of Cosmic Ocean and take that towards the, uh, the middle to the inner corner of the eye. This one's a little more chunky. I'm not sure how well this one's gonna do. All right, I take it back. That one's still looking pretty good. Now, subtle this is not, but if you're doing a full face of Fenty makeup, you probably weren't going for subtle in the first place. I'm gonna take a little bit of Milky Way and I'm gonna tap that in my inner corner. And next up, I'm going to take Alien Bay, and I'm going to attempt to put liner on. I always feel like it's not the liner's fault I'm bad at this. My biggest problem with liquid eyeliner is it always gets into my inner corner. No matter what I do, I'm not even trying to put it on the bottom, but it's still ending up there. So I did get a little bit in the corner of this eye, so I'm actually going to take some of the darker shades in the palette and sort of smudge that under my lash line. The question might be, why do you put so much highlight in your inner corner? I like it that way. I know it looks a little bit much, but I like it. It's an interesting effect for me. I am going to smudge the outside of the liner just because the wings themselves are not quite perfect. And that way I can shape them a little bit better. And that's my eye look with the Fenty palette. I rather like it. It's very sparkly, but I don't mind. I like sparkly. That's why I bought that stuff. So now I'm going to go for a lip. I don't want to go too overboard with the lip, so I think I'm actually going to take the Holiday Collection Fenty. This is in the color Sci Fly. It's sort of like a, a sparkly burgundy, but you don't have to put this on heavily to get a nice payoff from it. So I felt Sci Fly was different enough from the other lipsticks that like I didn't have a color exactly like this, and I felt like this would fit in well in my collection for me, because like this is a color I'm totally going to wear on a regular basis. I don't think they're quite as smooth as the Mademoiselles, uh, because there is glitter in them obviously, so they take a little bit more work to get onto your lips, but once they get on they look lovely and they stay on very well. So my final thoughts. I was curious to see if I had enough of any one brand that I could actually make this work because not a lot of brands are necessarily well-rounded enough that you can make like a natural everyday look out of, but like certainly the Fenty Beauty, you can make a party look, no problem if you go with that. I also feel like you can do an everyday look as well. You would just probably use the matchsticks to do the eyeshadow and you would, you would know that you're going to have a pretty shimmery look because that's kind of like the Rihanna aesthetic. Like she generally has sort of like a glowy, dewy thing going on. It looks great on her and it looks great on a lot of people. And I think you can make a nice natural look with this particular brand. I just didn't do that today. I was sort of trying everything and throwing it all at my face and boom, this is what you get. It was actually 
actually pretty interesting to see how some of the products interacted because I had not tried to do the matchsticks just on my eyes and then put the glitter on top. That was not something I'd tried before. So I'm actually pleased to see that that worked. I was hoping it was going to work, uh, but if I ever was using it by itself, I would definitely just continue using my NYX uh, glitter primer. I think that stuff's great. Six bucks, totally works. Personally, I'd be really interested to see if Fenty Beauty line comes out with another eyeshadow palette, but like a, an all matte palette. I'd really be interested to see what colors she would go for because like the colors in this, I just think are so interesting and awesome that I would love to see a matte eyeshadow palette that could go with this that could be complimentary, especially if it had like really interesting blues and greens and purples the way this one does. Like I love that. So that's what I'm hoping to see from her next. I think that would make the brand for me a little bit more versatile if I didn't want to be full on shimmer all of the time. Now, I certainly don't have a problem with it, but you know, for the days that I didn't want to be super shimmer, it would be nice to have that as an alternative. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy the content on this channel, please subscribe. If you've got a brand that you'd like to do a full face of, I'd love to hear what, what brands you think are well-rounded enough to do that. So feel free to leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye!